heard about the $25 billion of taxpayers' money that's been spent over the past 40 years on Aboriginal development. I heard the reporter say that this spending has got to stop. It's mismanagement of taxpayers' dollars and it's rotting the system. When the Johnson report came out that they've spent $25 billion since 1967, uh, it's, I suddenly felt, fairly, look, you've got to tell your people that we can't participate in this, uh, these atrocities against our people anymore and, and play this pretend process that the government actually cares about the well-being of our people. So I spoke to the young people and I spoke to the traditional elders and they said go back and give the money back to them and tell them we don't want to participate until they actually come and get a proper consultation, get the appropriate intelligence, uh, the appropriate information so they can uh, develop an appropriate plan that's culturally appropriate for our Nyambar nation so that we can participate in the economic future of this country the same as other cultures in this country. I've come down here and I've been voicing my disgust at the wastage of taxpayers' dollars by the Australian government. A lot of it's gone in, uh, in, in, in administration, in uh, a poor delivery of service, a constant failure, uh, bringing in private sector people that, that charge high fees such as administrators and, and project managers and, and, and these people have no idea about Aboriginal people and, and some of the, the plans they come up with is, is frightening. plan that we've developed over 20 years of uh, information gathering and intelligence gathering and, and community uh, consultation and it's called the natural development method. It's not going to solve all the issues but it will go towards empowering our people a long way, a lot, a lot better than the past government uh, program. The, the real problem for government is that they, over these last 30 years or 40 years they've been trying to put a square peg in a round hole. Now what they've got to do is go back to natural development uh, processes and methods. And our people were firstly born environmentalists, we're custodians. Now we know that the environment in Australia is struggling. Now doesn't it make sense that here we have a nation of people with the skills to fix the environment, why are they not connected up to the environment by the government? They've got bits and pieces of connection, but it should be, the environment should be the industry for our people, I believe. So that's what I'm trying to convince the government to do, because this $260,000 is about that program, but if the other governments don't come along beside uh, the, the Indigenous Protected Area Program, then it's going to fail, because it needs more money. The 260000 can only go so far. So instead of uh, sort of having the kids living in hope that this employment is going to last forever, I'd rather give the money back now. And I've spoke to the, to the young people that are involved in that and the elders and say, look, well, we give it back now until the government can come and consult with us properly and fund a project that we feel will empower us.